and thousands of demonstrators have gathered in Tel Aviv to protest against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's new cabinet. The protesters held banners that read Together Against Fascism and Apartheid and Crime Minister. The protesters also denounced judicial reforms proposed by the new minister, the new justice minister. Opposition parties say the proposed judicial reforms allow parliament to override decisions of the Supreme Court. Netanyahu, who is fighting corruption charges, took office late last month, and his new cabinet is regarded as the most right-wing in Israeli history. To discuss that further, we're joined by Muti Abu Musaibe, Palestinian political activist. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Now, uh, the question is, uh, it's interesting for us looking from outside to see that this uh, proposed cabinet is so right-wing, it has caused a protest inside Israel. Yes, first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, actually, as uh, you know, uh, today the, uh, the recent formed Israeli government actually reveals uh, the real political deadlock the Israeli occupation is experiencing. And uh, this, is actually, uh, refer this actually refers to many reasons. Uh, first of all, we have uh, a prime minister that, uh, that who is uh, charged of uh, many uh, corruption cases and the charges. Uh, uh, and uh, in addition to uh, the cabinet and the, the ministers who are 70% of them affiliated to the far right wing uh, 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 yeah, extremist, which, which means that we are in front of a new uh, government uh, which is driven and led by the far right wing, which means that more and more uh, crimes uh, yet to be committed against the Palestinian people specifically and actually uh, it also uh, deepens the situation inside the Israeli community itself uh, because uh, uh, th that kind of uh, racism practiced by this government will actually uh, has uh, its uh, reflections and uh, consequences on the Israeli community itself which actually uh, 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 which actually uh, led the Israeli community and the Israeli uh, 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 settlers to demonstrate and to take to the streets in order to demonstrate against uh, such a uh, government. Uh, uh, f furthermore, uh, this government actually repre represents an uh, uh, unprecedented situation regarding the political uh, attitude of the Israeli government, which actually would have uh, uh, a lot of consequences and ramifications on the regional situation, uh, especially regarding uh, the neighbor uh, countries. Uh, such as uh, Syria, Egypt, Iran, and uh, etc. So we are in front of unprecedented Israeli government, uh, which actually, uh, uh, from the first beginning, uh, tends to have more offensive policies uh, towards the Palestinian people. Uh, they, uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, racist laws and uh, a lot of offensive laws and uh, 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 rules in order to be passed by the, the Knesset and passed by the, the cabinet. Uh, so I, I think uh, such a government uh, is intended to have more and more uh, offenses against uh, the Palestinian people and against many uh, parties. Uh, so, Mr. Masabe, as you mentioned so yourself, uh, we have been witnessing an escalation in uh, Israeli crimes and atrocities against Palestinians. And, of course, today we also received news that three officials, Fatah officials, uh, were revoked their permits to enter. Uh, the uh, occupied territories. Uh, how do you think the landscape will change for Palestinians? Yes, uh, no one can deny that uh, when it comes to the Palestinian people, whether the, the Israeli government was from the right wing or the left wing, uh, the Israeli crimes against Palestinians are continued and persist. Uh, but it, it seems that, and it's obvious actually, that uh, this kind and the trajectory of those crimes uh, committed and perpetrated against the Palestinian people uh, uh, are going to continue and to increase actually. 
with 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 this uh, uh, government, which is totally uh, affiliated to the right wing extremist. Uh, so uh, having this government means more crimes are yet to be committed, more settlements are yet to be built, more Palestinian lands are yet to be uh, are yet to be uh, stolen and confiscated. Uh, so when it comes to the Palestinian people, I think this government would uh, exaggerate and exacerbate uh, the suffering of the Palestinian people. Uh, and, uh, let's, uh, and, and I would like to remind you that uh, the last year, 2022, uh, actually uh, uh, the, Israeli, uh, the Israeli occupation forces killed more than 230 Palestinian people, uh, which actually represents the highest number of the Palestinians who were killed by the Israeli forces since, since 2005 so far. Uh, this number is expected to rise with this government, which actually denies uh, uh, any kind of the Palestinians' right uh, of having a sovereign state or having the right of self-determination or having even the right of existence on the Palestinian land. Uh, so uh, this is the real meaning of having this extremist government led by the corrupt Benjamin Netanyahu. Thank you very much. Uh, that was Muti Abu Musabek, Palestinian political activist, joining us live from Gaza.